All right, let's take a look at Elastic File uh, System or EFS uh, storage, uh, Managed File Storage. What does EFS stand for? EFS System, Elastic File System. Okay, sorry. And so what we can do is go ahead and create a file system here. So I'm gonna say my EFS. And the great thing is that it basically is serverless. So it's only gonna be what you consume, right? So what you store and what you consume. Um, and I think that's what it's gonna be based on. We have to choose a VPC. I wanna launch it in my default VPC. And we have the choice of regional or one zone. Um, I guess this is gonna be based on what gets backed up to S3 possibly. So one zone probably is more cost effective, but I'm gonna choose regional. And that's a new option I never noticed before. I just opened it up to see a few more things here. We have general, max IO, bursting, provision, things like that. We'll hit next. We'll choose our AZs. And uh, then you might have to set up a policy. So I'm gonna hit next here. You'll go ahead and hit create. So, you know, this is really interesting, but the trick to it is really mounting it to a DC2 instance. And that's kind of the pain, okay? So if we go into this, um, you have to mount it and there are commands for it. So like EFS mounting Linux commands, okay? I've done this in my Solutions Architect Associate, uh, but you know, again, I'm not doing it on a regular basis, so I don't remember. And so if we go here, I'm just trying to see if we can see some code that tells us how to mount it. So mounting on an EC2, uh, uh, EC2 Linux instance with the EFS mount helper, um, so I don't know if they had that before, but that sounds interesting. So sudo mount hyphen T, the file system, the EFS mounting point. Yeah, this looks a lot easier than what we had before. Okay, so before I had to enter a bunch of weird commands, but now it looks like they've boiled it down to a single command. But once you have your EFS instance, um, I'm, I'm gonna assume that there is an entry point here. Just looking around here, seeing what we can see. I would imagine we have to create an access point. So my access point, sure. I don't know if it's gonna let me just do that. It did. And so I would imagine that you'd probably use an access point. Let's go back here, EFS mount point. I think that's the same thing. I think the mount point and the access point, you create access points and that's what you use. Uh, we can go here and we can attach it. So, oh yeah, here's the command. So um, mount via DNS or mount via uh, IP address. So it doesn't look too hard. We can try to give it a go. I haven't done it in a while. It looks like they've made it easier. So maybe we'll try it out, okay? So we'll go to EC2 here and I'm going to launch an instance. I'm gonna choose Amazon Linux 2. Okay, we're gonna go and choose that. And then we want to choose a file system. And so it's going to mount to here. Okay, and storage is fine. All this is fine. And I'm going to go ahead and launch this. And I need a new key pair, so create a new key pair. Um, this will be for EFS example, okay? We're gonna download that key pair there. We're going to launch this instance. Okay, and then we're gonna go view this. And as that is launching, what I'm going to do is open up my Cloud Shell. And I'm gonna to wanna to upload this pen. So again, like before, I'm gonna drag it to my desktop off screen. And then what I'm going to do is upload this file. So I have it, EFS example. Okay, we're gonna upload it. Cause I just wanna see if we can access that EFS volume. And so if I do LS, uh, that's our old one, which I can delete by the way. I'm never gonna use that anytime soon, yes. LS, and I'm gonna just delete the hello text there so it's a bit cleaner for what we're doing. And so we need to chmod that 400 uh, EFS example. And we saw that's how, it, like if you wanna to try to connect to a server remotely, that's what you do, right? So I believe that the drive is mounted. If I go to storage, does it show up here? It doesn't show up under here, but um, what we're waiting for are these two status checks to pass and then we can SSH into this machine. And I'm just gonna go back here and take a look here. So using the EFS mount helper, 
So sudo mount hyphen t efs tls this volume to efs. And so I imagine it's going to mount it to efs here using the nfs client. So I guess it just depends on what we're going to have available to us. Even if the status checks haven't passed, I'm going to try to get into this anyway. Um, so what we can do is click on this, grab the public IP address. We'll type in SSH, um, EC2 hyphen user at sign, paste this in, hyphen I, EFS, example, PEM. I usually don't log in via SSH, um, but you know, just for this example, I will. And so I want to see if this drive exists. Usually it'd be under mount, right? There it is. Okay, so it already mounted for us. So I can do touch hello world dot text. Say sudo here. I can say sudo vi. I'm going to open up the file and say hello from another computer. Okay. And so I've saved that file. And what I want to do now, whoops. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm in the cloud shell here. But what I want to do now is I want to kill this machine. Okay, and what I'm going to do is spin up another EC2 instance. I'm going to see if I, when I mount that, if that file is there, if it actually worked. But wow, that is so much easier than before. I can't tell you how hard it was to attach an EFS volume the last time I did it. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll add that. And the storage is fine. We're going to go to review here. We're going to say launch. And I'm just going to stick with the same key pair there. We're going to give that moment to launch. And we're going to go to view instances. And so now this one is launching. As that's launching, let's just go peek around and see what we can see. So, you know, I imagine if we didn't add that file system during the, the boot um, and we were, we were adding it after the fact, we probably could have just ran that line and added it really easily. Um, I'm not going to bother testing that because I just don't want to go through that uh, trouble to do that. Um, I still can't remember what these access points are for, um, but uh, it's okay. It's, it's kind of out of the scope for the certified cloud partitioner. And then, so I'm just curious. So we get some nice monitoring here, right? So that's kind of nice. Um, I guess they're trying to suggest here like AWS backup, data sync, transfer. So that would just be backing up. Simplify uh, automates accelerates moving data. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Transfer family fully managed F SFTP. Okay, so nothing exciting there. And we're going to refresh that there. And this is initializing. So let's go see if we can connect to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that public IP address. I'm going to hit up. Okay, and I'm going to swap out that IP address. And we're going to see if we can connect to that machine yet. So we'll say yes. And we got into it, so that's great. And so what I'm going to do is go again into the mount directory, EFS, FS1, LS, and there it is. I'm going to do cat hello world. And so it works. And so that's the cool thing about EFS is that you have a, a file system that you can share among other um, uh, EC2 instances. I'm sure users could connect to it using the NFS protocol. I'm not the best at like networking or storage networking, so I'm not going to show that here to you today. But that gives you a general idea how EFS works. Again, you only pay for what you store. It is serverless. So we'll go here and type delete because I'm done with this. I'll probably uh, destroy the instance first. So it doesn't get mixed up. And just so we clean up a little bit better here, I'm going to delete these keys here. Uh, delete. Okay. And we'll go ahead and delete this one as well. Delete. So I'm done with that. Uh, we'll make sure that that is tearing down. That is good. And we'll make our way back over here. And it says enter probably the ID's name in. So we'll enter that in. I'm going to hit confirm. And we'll see. Is it deleting? I'm not confident with it. I'm going to do it one more time. Confirm that by entering the, the file system's ID. So we'll put it in again. Is it destroying? I cannot tell. There we go. So it's destroying. We are in good shape. It is gone. Our data is gone. Um, but yeah, that is EFS.